What's up guys, Apple just announced new OS updates for all its products, okay? And I'm currently at Apple Park, just finished with the announcement and keynote, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything about it that you need to know. What's up guys, Jason Smash Pop here, and because there are so many updates for iPad OS 18, iOS 18, and more, I'm just gonna simplify them all for you and show you top five things for each of the new OS, okay? Let's go. Okay, so let's start with iOS 18, okay? Now, when it comes to the iPhone, the first thing that caught my eye was personalization of home screen layout. Now, we can place icons anywhere on the home screen so that it doesn't block our faces or any subjects important in the wallpaper, okay? And another thing is, when we switch it to dark mode, all the icons will be tinted and we will be able to also pick what color we want for all the icons and also the graphic inside those little squares, which is amazing. Now, apart from that, we also get updates to the control center so now when you pull down from the top right of your screen you get to see different menus okay so now you can actually have groups of controls for media for your home controls and also your phone settings and you can access all of this by using a continuous swipe from top to the bottom and speaking of personalization okay we can now add more controls from the controls gallery we can also rearrange and resize control buttons so that if you want something to be big you can just drag and make it bigger and a feature that everyone has been asking for okay the two little icons at the front of our lock screen we can finally customize it to put anything we want like if you don't use the torch light button on the bottom you can swap it with something else now in iOS 18 we also get a redesigned photos app so in the grid view when you swipe up you will see a new interface that shows us collections okay and we get to browse photos based on say recent days based on trips based on people and more and now from the grid interface when we swipe to the right we get to access a new interface face called carousel highlights okay whereby the photos app will show uh, highlights of our important moments or important days into a very nice ui or sometimes it will show photos or videos at the top of the screen now in messages now you can have extra animation effects when you want to send messages to your friends tap backs now supports any emojis you want okay so it's not just limited to say the the exclamation mark to the love to the thumbs up to the haha now you can put anything you want just pick from the options okay and apart from that we can also schedule messages to send later so in case you want to send a message but it's already like probably too late at midnight you can schedule it to send at 8 a.m in the next morning so along with iOS 18 there's also a new feature for iPod users now when you get notifications from the voice okay for example say you get a call or you get uh, messages or whatever you can actually pick up the call by not using your voice but by using your head movement so when it says do you want to pick up a call then you can and actually it's not to pick up the call or shake to reject the call. Next up, it's iPad OS 18. And the very, very big feature that I want to highlight here is that iPad now gets a new calculator app. For years, we did not have a calculator app and now it has, okay? But this is a very special calculator app because it also supports this new feature called Math Notes, whereby if you have an Apple Pencil and you can write your math equations on the screen and the iPad will tell you the answer straight away. The next feature is called Smart script whereby when we are writing stuff on the notes app it can actually beautify our handwriting so it is clearer it is nicer to read and they can also straighten your text so that your writing don't sing it ah, like that, you know now along with iPad OS 18 you also get all the new features that comes with iOS 18 that I mentioned just now like for example home screen personalization lock screen personalization control center new updates to messages new updates to photos and more but there's a new thing on iPad that is not available on the iPhone, I think it's called Share Play, whereby you can share your screen for your friends to see when you want to teach them how to use iPad, for example. You can also record your tabs and also writing or drawing to further teach them what to do on their own iPads. And for example, if you're teaching your mother, your father, your uncle, and if they can't follow your instructions, don't worry because you can also do remote control screen sharing whereby you can actually control their iPads from your own iPad itself. Another UI update for iPad OS is a redesigned tabs bar. You know the tabs bar that we always get on the left side? Now they have been compressed and it's now floating at the top of your application. Okay, so 
it is easier to access all these options. At the same time, you get a full screen experience of your apps. Now that we're done talking about iOS 18, iPad OS 18, now let's talk about the Mac, okay? The new OS is now called Mac OS Sequoia. And the first thing I wanna talk about is continuity, okay? And the biggest feature is we can finally use our iPhones virtually on the Mac screen, okay? So for example, if you left your iPhone on the next room and you want to access your iPhone, you can actually do it on your Mac. With iPhone mirroring, now we can control every single thing from our Mac, okay? It's as if we are touching the screen on our iPhone, but we are actually using the cursor or the trackpad or your mouse to control. Other than that, while you're working on the Mac, notifications on your iPhone will now appear on your Mac as well. And when you tap on these notifications, it will actually open the iPhone mirroring panel and it will show the app on the iPhone on your Mac screen. Now lastly, with your iPhone now appearing on your Mac, you can now drag and drop files between each other. Okay, so if you want to transfer photos, videos, whatever, just drag and drop. It's so easy. Another feature on Mac OS Sequoia is under productivity whereby when we drag windows to the edge of the screen, it will actually automatically align and rearrange panels or windows side by side so that all the panels will not overlap with each other. And since we're talking about Mac, of course we'll talk about Safari, right? Because we use the browser all the time. Now Safari can actually pull up important information from websites for you, for example, directions, for example, uh, locations, map, addresses, and if on the website there are people or places, Safari can also extract information about those people for you in summarized form. Now, of course, there are a lot more things that I did not share on iPad OS, iOS 18, Mac OS Sequoia because there's no time, okay? For more information, you can always visit apple.com and learn more. But now, I want to talk about this new thing that is super big, that spans across all platforms on Apple devices okay which is called Apple intelligence okay so everyone else we can call it AI lab but to be honest that the name that they give it is Apple intelligence so one of the features that comes with Apple intelligence is writing with intelligence whereby anywhere with a cursor okay with the blinking cursor that you can type you now access writing tools whereby this panel will help you to write better compose your emails better write messages better and you can also have options if you want your writings or your essays to be more professional to be more friendly to be more concise you can also pick everything from this writing tool panel this new writing with intelligence can also proofread your writing okay? so for example if you've written a very long essay you scan whatever you write is wrong or not so nice to hear or to read you can just get this writing tools panel to proofread what you just written apple intelligence also brings priority notifications okay so that also means on your lock screen when you see all your notifications they will actually add another one called priority notifications at the top of the stack to show you all the important things or messages that you should react on and everything else which is not so important will be placed at the bottom but the most interesting feature that comes under apple intelligence is the ability to create any visuals we want by just inputting text now along with this apple actually created this new app called image playground okay for us to play around multiple ways to create visuals for example if you want to create a visual of a cat dancing on a piano right you just need to type in the exact sentence and it will generate multiple options for you and all these visuals can also come in three types of category okay whereby it's animations illustrations or sketches so apple actually went further and because we can now create any visuals we want they want us to also create any emojis we want called Genmojis, okay? Basically, it's a, it's a short form for generative emojis, okay? So now, you can create any emojis to share or to use on your chats or conversations by just typing the exact sentence of what you want. For example, you can say, create an emoji of a guy wearing a red hat and also a square sunglasses. You can get the exact emoji like how you describe it, okay? Or, if you don't want to do that, you can also use a photo from your library and it will actually create uh, an emoji based on the photo that you inserted okay another feature is allowing us to remove distractions from photos like for example 
if this is a photo now, if I want to remove this black thing behind me, I just need to tap on that thing or draw a circle around it and it will use this clean up feature to remove this thing from a photo. Now when it comes to Apple intelligence, of course, it will be embedded in Siri, okay? Because Siri, after all, is our smart assistant on the phone. Now Siri comes with an all new design whereby when you activate Siri, it will appear as a glowing colorful light around the edge of the screen. And in case you don't want to talk to Siri, you can always tap the bottom of your phone to add to type to Siri. And now, Siri can actually teach you how to use Apple products. Like for example, if you want to scan a QR code but you don't know which app or which feature to use, you can just ask Siri, hey, I want to scan a QR code, how do I do that? And Siri will list out the step-by-step -step to teach you how to use. Now, I'm sure you are aware that there's this thing called ChatGBT, right? Which is like the AI intelligence assistant uh, which is available outside. Now, Apple is integrating ChatGPT into the device so that Siri can pass messages to ChatGPT in case you want a more comprehensive answer. For example, uh, you're going to ask about ingredients or how to cook a certain dish, right? If Siri cannot help you, Siri can actually say, hey, you will want to ask ChatGPT to help you because I can pass your question to it. And you can actually say yes. And then it will show you the answers from ChatGPT. So that was all the updates that I can feed to you in this very short YouTube video, okay? If you want to know more, don't forget to also check out my Instagram because I have lots of content and reel there, okay? And if you love gadget videos like this, don't forget to share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel, and lastly, follow me on all social platforms. My name is Meshpop, and I'll see you in the next one. Yo!